Hey folks, this is Alex from Z Code Tech, and I'd like to introduce you to the very latest development from our Z Lab team, the Contrarian tool. This indicator was designed specifically to reveal imbalances on the lines of a game or a match, especially when there is too much public interest on one side of the game, which can lead to profitable situations known as contrarian bets. So, what exactly does contrarian mean? A contrarian is a person who usually goes against, opposes, or rejects popular opinion. So, in the context of betting, it means betting against public opinion. It's also known as fading the public, and it is a profitable betting strategy for one simple reason, because more often than not, the public loses in the end. In the betting world, being contrarian involves betting against the public. That is, the average Joes that usually pick games based on their gut instinct or bias, and they rarely win. Year after year, Vegas and the sports books make huge amounts of money, and the vast majority of these profits come directly from betting against the average Joe. As a result, the unpopular team getting the minority of bets provides much more value than the popular team getting the bet majority. So by going contrarian, bettors can extract additional value by capitalizing on public bias, taking advantage of shaded or inflated lines, and getting better numbers in the form of additional points or sweetened payouts. And best of all, contrarian bettors place themselves on the side of the house. And we all know, in the end, the house always wins. The odds prices you see on a bookie are not a prediction in themselves. They're based on trying to get equal action on either side of the game or match. So it is a prediction not on the outcome, but rather what the public is betting on. All the bookies in Vegas know that there will be certain teams that the public will favor, and therefore the line must be over adjusted and that's how they take advantage of such imbalance. For us as bettors, we need to find out where the public is betting and bet against those teams, provided the data we see from the markets line up to give you a strong confirmation. And that's where our contrarian tool comes in. So let's take a look at the contrarian indicator and see all the options it has to offer. To load the tool, first of all, go to this link, that's zcodesystem.com slash VIP club slash contrarianbets.php. Once the contrarian tool loads up, the first thing you'll notice are all these options and filters at the top. And you have the main contrarian table right below that. So at the very top of the table, you have all the popular sports or leagues listed. So you can easily switch to the sports of your choice over here. Next, we have this date selector, which is convenient because it allows you to not only check out the games for today, which is the default, but you can also view the contrarian indications for past games from previous days as well. Like this, if you were to click on any date on the calendar, it'll load up contrarian bets that were suggested for that specific date. Next, we have the bet on option, which allows you to filter the indicator based on the bet types you'd prefer. If you click the drop down here, you'll see it includes the three most popular bet types you can filter by. So that's for the money line only, the handicap or spread lines only, and totals only. By default, it's set to all bets, so that includes all these different bet types we see here. Now we have this option or slider over here called tickets and cash details, and if you click this, it'll reveal further public details within the table itself, but I'll explain all those details once we get to the contrarian table. Okay, so moving on the right here, we have a search bar which will allow you to search for a game you have in mind. 
you can search by the team name or rotation number and this will come in handy on days when there are so many matches listed so it'll make your life easier next up we have this option which allows you to select the leagues and in this case we have all leagues which are available for this particular sport and next up we have the sorting option here by default it's set to time but you also have several other options by which you can sort the entire table besides time we have the max dropping odd percentage first most lopsided tickets percentage most lopsided money percentage all right now most of these options may not make much sense to you right now but like i said earlier you will understand them better once we go through the details within the contrarian table itself the same goes for these dropping odds filters that is the dropping odds period and the dropping odds percentage now both these options honestly are meant for our more advanced users so that's not something you'd use at the start when you're just getting acquainted with this tool and finally we have a time filter over here which allows you to filter the games based on certain time periods for that specific day okay so let's take a look at the actual contrarian table itself the very first column is the game and it displays the date and time of the match along with the names of the teams involved and you'll see all of those details listed in the first column next is the open line now this column basically shows you the initial odds or prices as soon as the money line opened up for these games and similarly the current line shows the actual odds or prices right now for these teams on the money line at this current moment what you should know is that we collect these price details from various bookies and the data is processed or averaged out so as to give you an accurate picture or indication of what the prices are like on the market now the next column is line moves and for those of you who are familiar with our anti-vegas line reversal tool you'll notice the same line graphs here along with other similarities such as the line reversal arrows which indicate sudden changes in odds but when you click on any of these line graphs it'll open a pop-up box in which the line reversals info will be displayed in detail so you notice over here to the left you have the odds details listed in decimal as well as American format you also have the starting or opening price over here to the left and you'll see how the line for this team progressed over time basically showing you how the money line shifted throughout the day until the closing time and price over here now I'm not going to explain these line graphs in detail because we've already done so in our line reversals video tutorials um, but just a quick note that will help our newbies to understand these graphs better just remember this you see the odds are arranged in you know like a decreasing order from bottom to top so when there's more money coming in on a team the odds will actually decrease which means the line will move upwards another way to see this is to think of it in terms of favor instead of odds so if there's more favor for a team then the line will increase and vice versa that is why the favorite of the game starts off with lower odds or higher favor in comparison to the underdog which will show higher odds but lower favor anyway i hope this little tip makes it easier for you to understand and read our line reversal graphs just at a glance now one thing i must mention is that it's very important to look at the lines in order to check to see if smart money is in support or against the team you're considering so if you look at this graph you see the money line here and it's moved throughout the day and here you'll see this dashed line 
the public percentage level, which says 88%. And that's an indication of the public support for this team. So like I said, it's important to take a look at these line reversal graphs, the line moves, especially if there are sudden changes or drops on the lines. You can see these arrows here. So um, just a quick tip again, if you ever see a red or orange arrow uh, pointing downwards, it means that the line's dropping. And if you see green arrows, it means that the line is increasing. Or in other words, the favor for that team is increasing. And any significant Vegas moves will also be indicated by the smart money icon over here. But I'll tell you more about that once we get to this indicators column. Okay, so moving on to the next two columns, which are the public ticket percentage and the public money person. Now, these are important columns when it comes down to understanding where the public's money is going. In other words, who has more of the public's favor? It's important to take a look at the number of tickets or the percentage out of all the possible tickets that were bought and placed on a specific team. So if you take a look at this game between the Colorado Rockies and the New York Mets, from this table you can clearly see that 82% of all the tickets bought for this entire game were placed on the Mets. So this is clearly a public favorite. 82% is going towards the Mets in terms of the number of tickets and as well as 82% of the public cash or actual money that's being poured into this particular game or match. So taking a look at the public ticket percentage and money percent is a quick way to gauge the public sentiment and where their interest is going. Now the contrarian indicator goes further than just displaying the line reversals or simplified public percentages. The tool provides you with detailed stats about the tickets and actual money being laid down on either team. So remember this option I told you about earlier? If you click this option, tickets and cash details, it'll also calculate and display further interesting details under the same public ticket and money percentage columns. Let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. So you have all public details as well as public and cash ratios. So for those of you who love digging into statistics and game details, you're going to love this. Let's take a look at each of these stats one by one. First of all, you have all public. Now, whenever you see the term all, it means that the calculations have included details from all the lines, that is the money line and spread lines. And that's similar to what we saw over here under bet on where we have all these different lines the main lines okay so all of that's taken into consideration for any of the all calculations in this case the all public percentage for this team the colorado rockies is 18 percent that same as the figures we saw earlier and all tickets is 186 now this is a count of the actual tickets that were bought and placed on this team. And then we have the public ratio. Uh, this is a very simple calculation. It's just the ratio between the public percentage for this team versus the all public percentage for the opposite team. So if you were to take these two values, you take 18% divided by the public percentage for the Mets divided by 82, you will get 0 0.22 approximately and if you were to reverse the order of these terms then we'll get the public ratio for the opposite team similarly all tickets difference is simply the difference in the number of tickets bought for each team so if i were to take the number of tickets for the rockies and minus it with the all tickets for the mets i'll arrive at this figure that's 664. The tickets difference is also another way for you to see the level of imbalance between the two teams. So like we concluded earlier, the Mets clearly have more of the public tickets on this side of the game. 
Remember, everything under this column is displayed or calculated based on the number of tickets and the ticket percentages. And in the same way, if you were to look at the next column under public money, you'll find similar details, but everything is related to or calculated based on the amount of money, the actual cash that's coming in or being bet on each of these teams. So here, all cash means the percentage of all the money spent on this game across all the lines, including the money line spreads totals. And that cash percentage is 18%. Then we have the actual all cash figure here, and this is in dollars. So this is the actual amount of real money that was placed on this team, the Rockies. So that's $21,432. The cash ratio again is similar to the public ratio over here. So it's the ratio of all cash percentage for this team divided by the all cash percentage of the opposite team. If you divide these two values, you will, this is the ratio you will get. You can also arrive at approximately the same value if you were to calculate it using the two cash values instead. So if I were to take this value and divide it with this one, I'll get approximately the same ratio. And uh, similar to the tickets difference we saw earlier, here we have the all cash difference. So if I were to take all the cash that was bet on this team and minus it with the figure from the opposite team, this is the all cash difference I'll arrive at. And this is also in dollars once again. So all the stats that you see here for this team, okay, the similar stats are calculated for the opposite team as well. And obviously, the team that has the higher number of tickets in cash will be highlighted here in red. And in the same way, you'll see the higher public and cash ratios are highlighted here in yellow. Just so you know, the money or cash percentage is just one of the main criteria that are used to determine if there is a viable contrarian opportunity. And I'll explain that in a bit. But when it comes down to actually determining which team to bet against, it's always important to take a look at the number of tickets for that team, not just the actual cash amount or cash percentage. But what you have to understand is that contrarian betting pays attention to the number of bets and not just the amount of money placed on a team. The number of tickets itself is an indicator of how popular that team or play must be which is why it will show the majority of the public betting on that team. Also keep in mind, you will often find a higher number of ticket purchases coming in from small time players or bettors who like to place smaller but frequent bets on games like say soccer matches or parlays, etc. The bookies will happily take their bets and even bet against these players because it's unlikely that they will win overall. This is all the more important when the public favors the underdog on a line with higher odds and very often placing a contrarian bet against the public favorite will work out well in such a situation. Anyways, coming back to this. So these are the detailed public stats calculations that we saw. But for those of you who aren't crazy about statistics and if you simply want to know the summarized percentages instead, then just come back here and switch off this details option and this is what you'll see by default which is what we saw in the beginning as well so 18 percent on the rockies and 82 percent of the public favor is going towards the mets now one of the most important criteria for the contrarian indicator is this if the public cash percentage touches 85 percent or above then a possible contrarian opportunity may become available to you. And you will see the contrarian icon right here under the first indicators column. So in this particular game, you can see that the public ticket percentage on the athletics was 78% and the public cash percentage was 90. And since this has exceeded 85%, 
that's why you see the contrarian indicator right here now when it comes to actually placing a contrarian bet how do we go about it you could use the contrarian tool to directly place bets against the team that's indicated by the contrarian icon but we don't recommend that you do not want to blindly bet against a team just because the contrarian icon shows up there are a number of factors that you must take into consideration as well firstly what you should do is consider the line support and check for sudden line reversals in other words look to see if the lines are supporting the opposite team or not next take a look at the tickets percentage or the number of tickets with the details option on for that particular team and if there's a large imbalance in the number of tickets favoring the opposite team then bet on the opposite team or player it's also wise to check to see if there are other indicators that are in agreement with this contrarian icon so that they act as a filter or bet qualifier so just as an example when you see the contrarian icon it generally means that you have to bet against this team because this is where the public favor is going right and remember we're taking a contrary stance so we want to go against the public flow that's the basic idea and what we will do is also confirm that with other indicators like whenever there are sudden line moves either for or against the team then you will see this yellow smart money icon with the dollar symbol inside and this is an indication that smart money has surged in on this game it's also related to the line moves that we saw earlier so to find out if the smart money icon is in agreement with the contrarian indicator just hover your mouse over the icon and read the smart money updates so it says sharp line move detected against oakland and smart money is coming in on Seattle so that basically agrees with our contrarian indicator which says that we should be betting against the athletics so in other words place your bet on the money line for the Mariners and whenever you have a strong confirmation like this it's safe to say that you can go ahead and place your bet for the opposite team and you will most likely win so in this particular match with the Seattle Mariners versus the Oakland Athletics, the Mariners won 4-3 at the end of the game. Okay, so just a reminder once again, when it comes down to the criteria, whenever the public money percentage exceeds 85%, that means a new contrarian bet is available and it will be denoted by this contrarian icon. Also remember to check the lines as well as the other indicators for confirmation if the lines show strong support for the team in question then you should reconsider your contrarian bet instead and you're more likely to win on this team rather than go against it however if the lines agree with the contrarian indicator and it shows strong opposition against this team then go ahead and place your contrarian bet against the team indicated um, so let me also show you an example of how line support can sometimes contradict an almost confirmed contrarian bet. So let me just switch to another date here. So here we have a match between the Seattle Mariners against the San Diego Padres and we can see that despite the contrarian icon and a lot of public interest that is showing up on the Padres there was a strong line movement in favor of the Padres which is actually a stronger indicator so you can see that from this green arrow that there was a sudden line move upwards indicating stronger support for the Padres so that's for the team remember see the contrarian icon is showing up for the Padres which normally means that we would bet against the Padres but because of this line movement in favor of Padres we are also going to take a look at the smart money uh, indicator and it says sharp line move detected in favor of San Diego that's the main summary there so everything is actually pointing to betting on the Padres instead of against it so this is the one example, one time where you see how other indicators 
uh, are going against the contrarian uh, indicator and you should be betting for the team rather than against it. And in this particular case, when it came down to the Mariners versus the Padres, uh, in the end, the Padres won 9-2. Okay, so let's take a look at another example of a similar situation. Um, let's switch to 27th. And I'd like to show you where smart money goes against the contrarian indicator and aligns in favor with the uh, public favorite. Okay, and the game I'm looking for is this one. The Los Angeles Angels versus the Oakland Athletics. On a side note, I think the Los Angeles team name is a little redundant, but um, yeah, that aside. Okay, so you notice how the public majority is on Oakland, but the public ticket percentage is only 69%. So I wouldn't exactly say it was a strong public favorite. However, since the public money crossed 85%, the contrarian indicator came up. And now if you would check the smart money indicator right next to it, you'll see that the sharp line moves were detected in favor of Oakland, which nullifies our contrarian icon here. So instead of going against the athletics, we are actually going to go with this team this time. And uh, sure enough, in this particular case, the Athletics won five to none. Now, besides the smart money indicator, you'll also notice uh, another icon called the Vegas Trap, which implies that this game is possibly being manipulated by smart money from the Vegas Sharks and heavy hitters in such a way as to lead the public into placing their money on a bet which is most likely to fail, thereby making profits for Vegas in the long run instead. So let's read this out here. It says, Vegas trap means that it's one of the most popular public games of the day. The public is heavy on one side, but the line moves the opposite side. It could be a false alarm or real trap. So watch closer to the game start time as to how the line moves using this line reversal graph or tool. Now, when this indicator, the Vegas trap, coincides with the contrarian icon for the same team, chances are the opposite team is almost guaranteed to win. Okay, so let's take a look at an example of how uh, to read the Vegas trap indicator in conjunction with the contrarian icon. Yeah, so this is the game I'm looking for. This is uh, the Houston Astros versus uh, Texas Rangers. And here on this game, we have the Vegas trap indicator warning us about the trap on Houston. And that confirms the contrarian indicator. Plus the fact that the money line over here moved against the Astros. So, we actually place our bet against Houston, and sure enough, the Rangers won with the final score 8-4. to four. And so, our contrarian bet won. Alright, so that's the main contrarian table that we saw here. But this is not all that this tool has to offer. If you scroll down below the main contrarian table, you'll notice another table with a summary of the best value bets they are selected based on our proprietary scores predictor and the Kelly criterion. The value bets listed in this table can be either on the money line, spread line, or even on the totals. But with this list, the bets are straightforward because it clearly mentions which team you must place your bets on. So there's no subjective interpretation required here. Now, what is the Kelly criterion? Basically, it is a bet sizing technique which balances both risk and reward for the advantaged gambler. If you click this here, it'll show you a highly detailed explanation as well as the math involved. The Kelly criterion basically determines the optimal percentage of your total capital or bankroll that you can bet on a single outcome or a game. So the Kelly criterion takes care of your bet stake size, but how about the actual bets to be placed? First of all, I must mention one thing. Um, many of our Z-Code newbies make the mistake of blindly following the scores predictor tool to place their bets. But what you should know is that the scores predictor 
is only one out of more than 80 to 100 factors that are taken into consideration by our automated systems. So you should never use the scores predictor as a standalone recommendation. It must always be confirmed with another indicator or factor, like in this case. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, all you have to do is go through this table, and it's pretty straightforward, really. You have the date and time of the game, as well as the names of the teams, just like we did in the table above. And this column, the optimal stake part, is the amount you must bet, but it's indicated in terms of the unit stake size. So if the optimal stake part shows 0 0.67, like it does over here, and let's say you've calculated your unit stake size to be $100. So what you must do is place 100 into 0 0.67, which gives you $67 on this particular value bet. That's as simple as it gets. Now, the most important column, of course, is the actual bet recommendations that you'll find under bet on. And here, the name of the predicted team is clearly mentioned. And you can also tell which line you must place your bet on as well. So for example, if you see MO, that obviously means it's meant for the money line. If you see uh, numbers with a plus or minus sign like you do over here, that's obviously meant for the spread line or the handicaps. And if you see, well, we don't have that over here, but if you were to see the keywords over or under a particular score number, then that's a total bet. And uh, once the games are done, of course, the final scores will be displayed over here to the right for your convenience so that you can check your wins for the day. All right, guys. So that's everything I wanted to show you about the Contrarian tool, all its features and how they can benefit you. So all that's left is for you to start using it actively so that you can improve your wins with the help of our Contrarian Indicator. That's about it, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope you make the best of our latest contrarian tool. See you later.